are two words and one name that I would like you guys to remember. Dylan Buckner. Dylan, externally, was my friend who was the kind of person that was driven, thoughtful, compassionate, a great teammate, son, and was the overall kind of person who always had a smile on his face. However, just because that's what he felt um, externally does not mean that's what he felt internally. On the unfortunate night of January 7, 2021, the community of Northbrook, Illinois, lost a close friend, Dylan. Because of cases like Dylan, mental health is an important topic to me especially that must be addressed in all classrooms, learning environments, and schools to help students better succeed. Furthermore, mental health should be addressed in schools because it informs the students, raises awareness, and provides support to them as well. As you can see here, mental health should be addressed in schools because it informs the students on what mental health is. And according to mentalhealth.gov, um, the definition states that mental health can be described as our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. Three different aspects that are super crucial for each individual to help them become a better person every day and to overall take care of their general health. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused students to suffer from mental health obstacles on their own, not knowing what is going on or why they feel that way. Personally, I went through a rough spot with mental health during the pandemic as well. It's something that thankfully from the help I've received from therapists, I'm able to talk about more openly and which is why I wanna share mental health awareness with you guys. Second of all, mental health should be addressed in schools because it raises awareness of the topic how it affects others, and symptoms of mental illnesses. According to an article written by Tuilius and Vyakma, adolescents experience a lack of attention for mental health in secondary education, as well as stigma and negative attitudes towards mental health treatment and health sources in general and during COVID-19. Essentially, the topic of mental health is not normalized enough. Especially in high school, you'd think that because of all these changes that each individual faces, that mental health is something that was constantly talked about more, or something that is openly talked about between friends or even peers, or even between a student and their teacher. And sometimes I personally feel as though society portrays that each individual student is constantly involved or doing well in school, but that's not necessarily always the case, and I'm sure you've all felt that way at some point or another. Some examples of mental illnesses include anxiety, depression, eating disorders, post-traumatic stress disorder, personality disorders, and there's definitely many more. But when schools decide to um, educate students on what the different mental illnesses are, that way students can maybe better identify it in not just themselves, but hopefully in others as well. Mental health should be addressed in schools because it gives the students healthy coping mechanisms and resources to utilize. It is difficult enough already trying to be a better self-advocate, so schools might as well address the topic of mental health directly. Despite the availability and benefits of mental health services on university and college campuses across North America, many students still do not seek help. Barriers to, self, to help seeking experienced by students existed on the institutional, sociocultural, and personal levels. Now, I know that's more on a greater scale at a bigger campus, but thankfully that we go to our like, small Christian school here at WLC, there are multiple mental health resources to use here. So here are some examples um, of health services or just mental health counseling services here that we have at WLC, or as you guys, as you see on the sheets that I have in front of you. Um, I gave you guys, just in case this applies to you, um, just some Bible verses to read that talk about the importance of mental health um, some sources here, whether it's pastors, um, any other like sources here, and then my phone number, just because mental health is a topic that's really passionate to me, and it's something that I'd love to talk to you guys more about. So, mental health should be addressed in schools because it informs the students, raises awareness, and provides support to them as well. Moreover, mental health is an important topic that must be addressed in all classrooms, learning environments, and schools to help students better succeed. When the topic of mental health becomes more commonly addressed in all schools across the, across the globe, society can decrease any more cases like Dylan from occurring and increase the mental emotion, emotional ability of their students. 
So if I were to leave you all with a lasting thought, please remember to be kind, because you never know what a person is fighting on the inside. When society works together uh, to be better educated and better informed on the different mental illnesses and just how mental health works overall society, and we can make the world a better place by doing so. Thank you.